is a video about what happens if you use really old watercolour paper. After you get over the disappointment of discovering that you don't have watercolour paper, you've got blotting paper, you realise that the sizing has slowly degraded on your watercolour paper. So this is what happened to me the other day. I got out these two beautiful pieces of Saunders Waterford hot press paper. I'd already drawn the design of these sweet peas and you can see me there preparing all my colors. That's some beautiful bright rose and cobalt and some Hansa yellow light. And that kind of added to the disappointment because I'd spent time preparing the colors. And I was a bit excited about making this video and sharing it with you all. And in a moment, you're gonna see exactly what happened instead of <laughs> painting sweet peas for you. I thought, okay, I need to pivot and I need to make this about what happens when you use really old watercolor paper. So here's me recovering and showing you what happens in this situation where you've had an old, old piece of watercolor paper. Have you ever paper. wondered what sizing does on watercolor, what function it performs? then get a really old piece of watercolour paper or a piece of watercolour paper that you've transported around for a long while and paint on it. And if you find that this happens, then the sizing has been lost from your watercolour paper. So this is a piece of Saunders Waterford hot press watercolour paper and I've had it hanging around for years. I drew a really delicate design all over it and of some sweet peas and when I began to paint this is what happened so I began my wet in wet process by adding water and immediately the water is just entering the fibers of the paper and that tells you that the sizing has been completely lost on this piece of watercolor paper the other thing you can tell is that it goes straight through so it won't matter if I turn the paper over because I'm going to have the same issue. It's just entering the fibers of the paper and coming through slowly onto this side. Watercolor paper is different to all kinds of other papers because it's heavily sized and the more expensive it is, the more it is sized. So it can be sized externally as well as internally, which means they put the sizing into the pulp. In this example, however, the paper has completely lost all its sizing and it's just returning to blotting paper. All I can do with this piece of paper now is draw on it, which is okay. It will be probably beautiful to draw on because it's um, hot press, which is wonderful for drawing. I'm going to let that dry and then use this paper for another purpose. It's not a complete loss because I'll use it to draw on. I was intending for this video to be all about um, painting these uh, sweet peas, but instead this is a video about what happens when the sizing is lost on your watercolour paper. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you soon.